Hey everyone, Andrew Carruthers here, Education Director for Sambia. We listen very closely to your requests online. One we get a lot is how to trim a beard properly. So I let my beard grow out to full on mountain man status so I could teach you some simple ways to break it back down into more of a tailored, what we call business beard. First thing we wanna do is we wanna brush it out really well. We're using the large oval round brush that has a lot of boar hair bristle to it. And then we're gonna go into our long cutting comb to fully detangle the beard and get it ready to knock it down. For the knockdown phase, we're using a clipper with the number eight guard, which is the biggest guard. If you want it a little shorter, of course, all you do is drop down a few guards. And you can see what I'm doing is I'm going up and against the grain for consistency, and then I'm taking that comb and brushing it back down into the natural fall of the beard. And what that's gonna do is help to make sure that we get every single hair. Sometimes you've got hairs that grow in different directions, so this side-to-side -side movement is gonna make sure we catch all of those last little hairs that may not have gotten grabbed by the against the grain movement. Moving into the mustache area, we're gonna switch to a number four guard because we want that to be a little shorter. Again, we're gonna use that against the grain and side-to-side -side motion just to make sure that we get every single hair in the mustache consistently cut and an even length. With the Samvia 5.5 inch swivel shear, we're going to begin outlining. Comb the hair down into natural fall, and then we're going to use the shear to cut right at the bottom edge of the top of the lip, and that keeps you from getting kind of a white wall effect. Now we're going to come in and use a slight point cutting technique, and that keeps it very natural looking. Comb it out to the corner, and cut that corner off, and what that does is it gets rid of these little hairs that tend to pokey in the lip, which are incredibly annoying. And there you'll see I cut that corner one more time and then again soften with the point cutting. Now we're going to work on the sideburn area, combing it back and forward and using a point cutting technique. What this does is it creates a really nice outline to that sideburn area and a good frame for the face. To outline the bottom edge of the beard, I prefer a T-edger. It's a little easier to use than a pair of shears. We're going to visually sculpt from the outside in to create our line, and then you'll see we'll flip that T-edger and come up to the line to create a nice line. We'll also comb the corner around the jawline backwards and take that corner off, and that keeps a little more roundness to the beard. I keep my chin up during this process, which allows for a little tuck at the bottom edge when I return my chin to natural position. To begin the tailoring process, we'll take the tip of the long cutting comb, place it at the top of the sideburn, and then we'll lift away towards the bottom edge of the beard. This keeps the weight distribution leaner at the top and fuller at the bottom and gives a nice contouring through the cheek area. We'll reverse this process now and taper back up into the hairline. Now with our length established, our outline complete, and all of our tailoring done, last step is just to clean up all the extra hair around the beard. So we're going to go against the grain with the T-edger along the neck. And if I want this a little closer, I'll go in and actually straight shave. Clean up all the loose hairs around the cheek, and then we're gonna flip the T-edger upside down to come down to the outline on the mustache so that I don't mess with the overall outline. This last step is just to clean up any of those unruly hairs that just won't fold into the beard. You're gonna have a couple of those. Use the boar hair bristle brush again to give it a final brushing, get rid of all the loose hairs and we're gonna complete with two to three drops of Redken's Diamond Oil for softness and control. So there you have it, my friends. That is the full Mountain Man into a much more tailored shape. We hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and please keep your questions coming. It's what fuels our education. Thank you. I'm Andrew Carruthers, Education Director for Sam Villa.